So we got Like a Baus, which came out this week, which is a um, a comedy film where Rose Byrne and Tiffany Haddish, Mia and Mel, two characters that have their own makeup company, are in debt and they go to Selma Hayek's character, Claire Luna, and she screws them over and they kind of catfight and they have a lot of potty jokes a lot of jokes about booger eating, a lot, a lot of jokes about like raunchy stuff, about like yeast infections, like random stuff that makes this movie really weird because it is one of those gross out comedies that it it's just so strange. It's one of those movies where you could say technically it's not really good. It's just one of those movies that's one of those comedies that tries so hard to be gross out. And honestly, sometimes the jokes work. Um, but a lot of the times they don't really, and this is not even a type of movie that I would even care about. Like I just see this cause I want to see every movie, but watching this movie in particular, I am thankful that it had Tiffany Haddish and Rose Byrne in it and even Selma Hayek. Um, Tiffany Haddish, I think she is in a lot of bad shit, like a lot of bad comedies, but I can watch her in anything. I think she is one of my favorite comedians. Anything she says makes me laugh. I've seen a couple other comedies in with her where no matter what, if the movie's bad or not, I will laugh at everything she says. And this one, almost the whole time she was, she said any line in this movie, I laughed. I, I think she's just got great comedic timing, even when it's in a bad movie. And Rose Byrne is funny in a lot of other movies too, and she's good in this as well. I think that they they both have good chemistry. They both are likable characters, even though, of course, Tiffany Haddish says her usual, like, random shit to people that are like, that's just not normal. Like, you, like, she would say something to a person that, in real life, like, you'd get, like, kicked out. Like, if you said this to, like, a, like, the leader of, like, a makeup company, like Selma Hayek, and she'd say some random stuff, like, where she'd, like, say she want to kill her or something, and it's like, I know it's supposed to be over the top. But it's just, it cracks me up. But like I said, her, Rose Byrne, and Tiffany Haddish have good chemistry. I think that they actually work off each other really well. I f- it's funny because these characters in the movie have grown up together. Like, when, since they were really young, you can kind of feel that. Um, and the movie, too, like, like I said, it's got some funny moments. It's got moments where the humor is so, it's so ridiculous it just it made me laugh. There are some there are some jokes that did get me that were just so random. There was one character in this movie. Um, call back to my childhood. If anybody remembers what Caillou is, it's like a kid show or like this. There's this really dumb kid named Caillou, and like he just he he does things wrong in the show, and like he's not very smart. And he's a little kid. And in this movie, there's just a random references to it, random reference to it where this character says, like. It's like watching Caillou. That kid's a fucking dumbass. Like, it, it just... it. I lost it because it was so random and it was so relatable to me. I was like, man, I remember that kid being dumb whenever I watched that show as a kid. Um, there were a couple jokes like that that really made me laugh. I, I did laugh... I don't know how many times. I laughed a good amount, I think. But also, this is a movie where it's a lot of ad-libbing and it's a lot of, like, random random jokes too but like I said I laughed at the Caillou part um I laughed at the part where the guy gets fired and he makes a dramatic leaving the restaurant and that's in the trailer and I did laugh at a lot of things Tiffany Haddish said and sometimes what Rose Byrne said too but there's a lot of moments in the movie where it's just we're trying to make a joke just to fill the void to fill the space because there's not a joke in them in this moment. So we're going to try to make a joke. Even if it's not funny, we're going to keep it in. We're going to ad lib it. And I felt like that's what a lot of this movie was, even though I did laugh more than I expected to. And I'm glad too, because I, this wasn't an insufferable experience. I was expecting this movie, even though I had Tiffany Haddish and I was expecting this movie to not be very interesting at all because, again, it's not something I care about. It's not a genre I'm super into, really. It's not really my thing at all. But I did like things about it. Like, I thought it was pretty funny and pretty solid. Um, It's definitely not a great movie, but I thought in terms of just some moments of, like, humor and some moments of, like, the acting's fine. Like I said, everybody's good. Um, Tiffany Haddish is good. Rose Byrne is good. Selma Hayek's good. 
Um, the the mystery character that comes at the end of the movie is really good. I don't want to spoil it, but there's like a character at the end that you know is going to appear at the end because they established a character earlier in the movie. They don't see them. But that that actress who appears is really awesome. I like seeing her again in a movie. Haven't seen her in a while. Um, and Jennifer Coolidge is good. Like, even though she has a lot of ad libbed lines that I'm just like, oh, okay, <laughs> this is really weird. But but again, acting's fine. The humor sometimes works, but a lot of the time it doesn't work. So it's a mixed bag for me. Like I, it wasn't an insufferable experience. Like I said, I expected way worse. But I thought that there were some funny enough moments to enjoy. Um, the acting's fine. But it's it's a very generic and dull and dull movie in a lot of ways. But there are sometimes where I laughed and enjoyed it. But it's really half and half, like very, very like middle of the road, half and half for me. Cause this movie isn't good, but there are moments of entertainment throughout. So that is my quick review on like a boss. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching.